This month of Iyar is the remarkable month of the renewal of the Jewish people in the modern era, the post-biblical era. You see, the previous two months, Adar and Nisan, have been months of Geula, of the biblical era. Adar, Mordechai and Esther, at the end of the biblical era, and the beginning of the biblical era, Yitziat Mitzrayim, Nisan Pesach. But Iyar is the modern era. Incredible. Yom HaShoah, Yom HaZikaron, first solemn days of commemoration. And then this coming week, as we know as well, Yom HaAtzma'ot, uh, Lag Ba'omer, uh, Yom Yerushalayim Shavuot. Incredibly, this month is in many ways the month of the Yeshua, of salvation of the modern era. The horrific difficulties of the Shoah moving forward into the state of Israel. The price you've had to pay for the wonderful state of Israel, Yom HaZikaron. And then incredibly, the, ret- the sovereign return of the Jewish people, Hey Iyar, uh, Lag Ba'omer, which, is, which of course is from millennia before in the post-biblical era of giving a respite from the death of the Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva. And then of course Yom Yerushalayim, the, the day of the reunification all the way up to Shavuot. And so I hope and pray that as we now uh, count up towards uh, Shavuot and as slowly the, the, the um, pain and trials and tribulations of the death of Rabbi Akiva, which have converted the month of Iyar into a sad month, it's slowly getting its Geula, Lag Ba'omer, Yom Ha'atzmaut, Yom Yerushalayim, ultimately converting these days to the days of Yeshua of salvation, where we count up to Shavuot, Yemei Simcha, times of rejoice, rejoicing, which ultimately is what the month of Iyar is about, as we count all the way to Shavuot. Shabbat Shalom.